Today, as we wrap up January 2023, I made a video to find out the best mod for the last week of January. I have carefully selected the mods that you will be satisfied with. So please don't leave halfway and watch it until the end. Then let's get started. The first mod I will introduce to you today is Memos Pour. Memos Pour is a sound mod that revolutionizes UI sounds. Memos Pour makes a nice change to the inventory and journal interface sounds. And that's not all. This is a great mod that not only changes the map and favorites menu sounds, but also allows you to optionally install critical damage sound, quest start sounds, skill increase and level up sounds, skill menu glow and perk selection sounds. This is a mod made by Young Scrolls, the creator of Dogathwave Music, and it's a mod that highlights his excellent sense. He says to have made this inspired by Dark Souls with a subtle, but in fact Memo's core is even better than Dark Souls sounds. The second mod to introduce is Debella's Blessing. Debella's Blessing is a mod that replaces the appearance of 205 female NPCs in Skyrim. Changes the appearance of female NPCs to make them more beautiful and more lore-friendly. This is because Debella's Blessing expresses the wrinkles and sagging skin of the face well, and this is because it reflects well in the game that real humans develop wrinkles and sagging skin due to aging. Not only that, Debella's Blessing is very easy to install. The file is not divided into several files, but consists of one file. Therefore, you can use Debella's Blessing just by downloading and installing one file. Additionally, unlike other NPC replacers, Debella's Blessing has no requirement mods. Normal NPC replacer mods tend to have a lot of requirement mods, but Debella's Blessing is convenient because it can be installed and used right away without any requirement mods. When installing Debella's Blessing using Mod Organizer, you can select either CBBE or UNP body for female NPCs. You can also choose one of four appearances for Elisif, and it is compatible with USS EP and AI overhaul mods. The third mod to introduce is Integrated Face Light. Integrated Face Light is a mod that lets you light up your characters and NPCs' faces, making them stand out more. Integrated Face Light mod has no modifications for vanilla records so you don't have to worry about crashes and high compatibility. And IFL doesn't use complex scripts, so you can install or uninstall it whenever you want. What's more, this comes with a choice of three brightness levels, and the color is chosen as natural light, although only one tint is available. This mod ensures that even if the NPC moves to another cell, and the face light effect will still be maintained when the player interacts with the NPC. This mod maximizes safety by optimizing the script, separates and applies the face light step by step, and is a great mod that excludes the disadvantages of the existing face light mod and accepts only the advantages. The fourth mod to introduce is Vanilla SMP Clothing. Vanilla SMP Clothing mod adds SMP physics effect with all vanilla outfit. Recently, DLC outfits have also been added, and now all outfits have SMP effects. A SMP effect has been added to outfits and robes, so they can now look more natural. Not only that, body slides are also supported, so you can reconfigure the outfit to fit your desired body style. Actually, I like this part more. Most vanilla replacers excessively reshape the outfit, but this mod doesn't change the appearance of the vanilla outfit, only adds a SMP effect and supports body slides. The charm of this replacer mod is that it supports all DLC outfits. Now no matter which area you're questing in, the NPCs you encounter will have physics added to their outfits. The fifth mode to be introduced is new creature animation, Giant. 
The creator of this mod is STSP, who has been actively producing recently. This time he released the giant series attack animation. This mod adds continuous swing, big swing, drop kick, triple slash, and shoulder attack animations. However, the overall animation frame rate is fast, and I don't think this suits the giant, but adding various attack animations seems to be a clear merit. However, the overall animation frame rate is fast, and I don't think this suits the giant, but adding various attack animations seems to be a clear merit. But, it seems that the creators have reflected the player's opinion because they can download a slower speed animation and selectively download the giant's drop kick animation. And I think it's amazing that STSP creators can produce animations with such speed and quality even though it's their first time. Dar and Amr are required to use this mod, and since there is no ESP, you can install or delete it at any time during the game. That's it, we've learned about the best mod for the last week of January 2023. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.